honorable sisters, brothers, and friends. I uh, didn't intend to have this video, honestly. But uh, in researching uh, some music, the uh, lyrics and uh, tune, uh, there was one of Ezio Pinza singing to Lana Turner. Now, Lana Turner is the example of a Hollywood girl uh, that's photogenic. Uh, the story is that uh, the movie scout saw her at a soda fountain in Hollywood and asked her to make a screen test, and then she became Lana Turner, the star, and there's been a million girls go to that soda shop from all, you know, all over the world. Like. Uh, now, Ezio Pinza sings it in Castellano. Now, that's a challenge for Professor Dr. Castellano. Certamente. Certainly. There's a challenge there. So, I'm looking up maybe the lyrics and tune of You Belong to My Heart. It's in the English. And uh, in Castellano, it's, I think, Solamente, um, I have to look it up to be sure. And here is Connie Francis. Now, Connie Francis is my idea of a popular singer. There's Lily Pons, Jeanette McDonald, and then in popular music, Connie Franciosa, Connie Francis, and also uh, there's uh, on, a, uh, on another singer, Dinah Shore, terrific voices. And uh, I re recall that two, three, five years ago, uh, and going over about the 007 and all of the hoopla and the phoniness out of England with uh, that, uh, that I said, I'll add to 009. And then I catered to you beautiful girls in, in a morning, noon, and evening program. I think, if I now I just recall that. I was more than, yeah. So maybe you'll then uh, believe when I say that I would do six tough issues in six different disciplines in a day while I did completed my regular work evenings, maybe during the night, and get up and do the engineering survey. Always try for perfection in my engineering survey. And they say nobody can say they've ever done that work without making a mistake. But I not only didn't make a mistake, I could zero the precision of uh, optical instruments. And they say, no, it can't be done. In fact, a company refused the notes. He says, that's impossible. Said, Look, you can't do it anymore. Perfect. I zeroed the theodolite and then did it from zero so that it was absolutely perfect. He said, no, I said, I'm not going to do it over again. So I just changed the numbers and went along, and yeah, okay, now it's acceptable. <laughs> I don't make up these jokes, I tell you, it's true facts. In preacher, doc, truths 24-7. Now, I have a little time before my Saturday into Sunday number one program of celebrating, uh, it's now Divine Miracle number five, and I don't try to mix other disciplines with theology, the challenging discipline. 
so let me see. I'm gonna, so I thought I'd turn the TV, turn the TV, put this computer on, and uh, try to see what I could do uh, with it. Because uh, if I could, and, and back then I spent more time in uh, in this tip tap gadgetry where I could get. Like, uh, I think I remember Connie Francis, uh, Dinah Shore, uh, and especially um, um, the girl that sings Ave Maria. Uh, and uh, I would try to uh, harmonize with them. And... Uh, if I can harmonize with Connie Francis, wow. So this is really me, you see. I can say that I would like to really, if I have time, go into how I did lightification of electromagnetic radiation. From now on, I'm going to say it that fast. That's me. Instead of thinking of how somebody else might want me to say it. Lightification of electromagnetic radiation is my original work, number one in the world. Therefore, who is yours truly? You understand? And I'd like to go through how I put that together with actual and as though I had all that equipment. And you get where you're working with scintillator counters. And hyperfine lines and comprehending and realizing and maybe graphically, pictorially putting that together and reinforcing through having a ruby crystal uh, where you vibrate the ruby crystal to get EM waves and reinforce these EM waves and then put it that's EM waves into phase etc. That reminded me then when I was in Washington DC. Well I was at a soda fountain and there was an empty seat to my right. Now, I had been sitting in an airplane with an empty seat to my left by the window, and I think now I remember his name, but the top world surgeon, uh, cardiovascular surgeon sat next to me, and we, he began a discussion, and we went into uh, cardiovascular surgery. And like I say, I, I have to start from scratch and then get caught up and maybe where they are and then see if I have a uh, suggestion. Um, it's a polite way, of course, I put whatever I suggest. And uh, the great, considered the number one uh, preacher, Billy Graham, sat next to me. He was in Washington, D.C. Now, I didn't think that was an accident. Coincidence. But as I thought about it, I was there first. If he wanted to talk to me, then begin a conversation. And he kept looking at me and, and, and like wanting to start a conversation, but he didn't. Well, I don't know, call it professional courtesy or whatever. I was there first. I have my opinion of God and Christ and divinity and of course he's publicly number one if you want to start a conversation you know I didn't get any money from any suggestions they owe me billions just from my Xerox let alone life came from life from that reach etc you see what I mean now when I was in Washington DC I was at a bar I uh, drank a little then, 
I always believe in being sociable and especially honoring uh, ladies. And all girls are beautiful by nature. And uh, they would have, and I would go there with my wife. And, and, and I remember in one city, uh, this might not have been in Washington, D.C., where they had, like Esther Williams, I highly think she's exceptional, in a tank. You're at the bar, and there's this uh, girl like Esther Williams performing really great. Well, uh, at a, now this bar, I think, was at Washington, D.C. They had some equipment. And at that time, I was going into our dynamic universe and delving into our dynamic universe and maybe pictorially how it functions. And I'm sitting at this bar having a cool drink. And here is this equipment with little uh, balls of bouncing lights rapidly traversing the screen. And I began to reminisce, uh, well, recall uh, what I was putting together and kind of like timing it. It didn't have to be in right timing. Like there could be a, what they call one quarter note. You sing the actual note and then uh, it's uh, one qu half time, quarter time, or it's uh, uh, maybe uh, in double time. And um, and if I make a mistake and think about it, I'd like to uh, mention it. I worked with a man that was in the uh, Rangers, and he said everything was double time. And I, I uh, my one of my uh, abilities with speed, so uh, yeah, okay, double time. Anyway, uh, anyway, what I'm saying is that I had then sort of a graphic proof of what really maybe our complex universe, this dynamic complex universe, is and can be represented. Now, I say that because it's passe. I didn't want to mention her name. I was forced to mention it in a previous video. Higher and better of the discipline of theology, cosmology. I have some great work in cosmology. And now in, uh, in, uh, in voice, in speech, I guess you would say speech, and then in, there's voice and speech, and music, and voice, to uh, appreciate and um, so what then I will try to do now is just remembering the first line. Is let's see if I wrote it down. Uh, Ezio Pinza. I'll walk it through first. Oh, that's it. My the language I prefer is Italian or then Spanish. The the the, the word ends in a vowel in Italian and. You as you pronounce the word, you spell it, and it rhymes. Maybe that's one of the reasons, um, as you think about it, that Italians, then when they talk fast, it's kind of a sing-song, and they're good singers. Uh, it's because the words rhyme. So, uh, now in English, though, you belong to my heart, now and forever. And our love had its start four months ago. We were gathering stars while a million guitars softly played. And I got that far, and I said, well, um, I'm going to try it just uh, like I would do 
six tough issues in a day. He came up and I do it. And then what was this? if another one came up, I'll complete that and at least my opinion on that particular challenge. So let me try to. I'll try then as Estio Pinza is singing to Lana Turner. You belong to my heart now and forever, and our love had a start four months ago. We were gathering stars while a million guitars softly playing. And a de a do a da 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 de a do de. So lemon de a do a de a de do. If if I get the English words, I'm going to try even in Spanish. And then if I can harmonize with Connie Francis, so that's this twenty four seven. Truths. Thank you.